applying this work energy theorem, I have an object that I want to move from A to B. I let gravity do that. I give it a velocity. Here is the velocity V of A, and let the separation be H. And this could be my increasing Y direction. The object has a mass M, and so there is a force, gravitational force, which is mg. And if I want to give it a vector notation, it's mg y roof. This is my increasing value of y. When it reaches point B, it comes to a halt. And I'm going to ask you now, what is the value of h? We've done that in the past in a different way. Now we will do it purely based on the energy considerations. So. I can write down that the work that gravity is doing in going from A to B, that work is clearly negative. The force is in this direction and the motion is in this direction. So the work that gravity is doing in going from A to B equals minus mgh. That must be the kinetic energy at that point B, so that this kinetic energy at point B minus the kinetic energy at point A this is zero because it comes to a halt here, and so you find that one-half m v a squared equals m g h. m cancels, and so you'll find that the height that you reach equals v a squared divided by 2 g. And this is something we've seen before. It was easy for us to derive it in the past, but now we've done it purely based on energy consideration.